friends, Jerry Rosa here at the Rosa String Works Workshop. Uh, don't have any uh, building content or repair content for you here. First thing I want to say is uh, just thank you for the wonderful response from yesterday's video. My little rant there. Um, you know, it. I totally understand everything everybody says. You got to ignore them and all that, but. If when those you know personal insults are directed at you specifically, it's difficult to just continually ignore them, especially when there's a little bit of a bandwagon there and, a, and several people get on that same bandwagon, you know. But I do really truly thank you for the kind responses. There was, it was overwhelming. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm really, believe it or not, even as serious as that was yesterday, I have something more serious to talk to you about today. It, you know, this has been bugging me for a very long time, and I really feel like I have to get this off my chest. We've got to stop making fun of our banjo players. Um, it's really bad. I mean, if you go to a, a bluegrass show... All you hear is banjo player jokes. I mean, they start off with, how do you know when the bluegrass stage is level? Well, you know, you just look at the banjo player. If the drool's coming out of both corners of his mouth, the stage is level. Now, while there may be some truth to that, there's no reason to, to you know, to call attention to these personal little problems that, you know, banjo players have. You know, it's, it's just not right. And I think it's time we stop doing that. The other thing is, like, you know, you always see them walking around like this. I mean, you know, banjo's heavy. And, you know, and, and it, it affects their posture, and they all walk crooked, you know, and from that strap hanging over their shoulder like that. And uh, you can tell if they're left-handed or right-handed the way they lean, you know. It's, it's just, you know, the only instrument that I know of with strings that's heavier than a banjo is a grand piano, um, you know, so... It's just sad, and I mean, you know, th then you'll hear the things like, you know, what do you get when you drop a banjo uh, down a mine shaft? Um, a flat minor, you know. Um, it's it's just not right to keep making fun of them like that. You know, I I, you know, I hear things like, uh, how do you tell if if you know if someone has perfect pitch? Well, you stand back, you know. 30 feet from the dumpster, you swing the banjo, you throw it. If it lands in the dumpster without hitting the sides. That's a perfect pitch. You know, it just isn't right. Uh, I don't know why people keep saying things like that. The, uh, one of the most mean ones I heard was, what do you have when you have, you know, a busload of banjo players going over a cliff with three empty seats? Not enough banjo players. You know, it, 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 that's uncalled for. They shouldn't say things like that. It just isn't right. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to put a stop to it. I think we need to, you know, to quit doing things like that. I mean, it's almost like instrument racism. I mean, it really is. And, and we're in the 21st century now, and, and we shouldn't be doing things like that anymore. I think it all got started back at about the time of deliverance, you know. And uh, that, that didn't do banjo players any good, I can tell you for sure. And I tell you what, even on national news, I, they were making fun of banjo players this week. I, there were, I guess about a week ago, there was a, a convention up in Chicago, a banjo player convention. And it broke up on Sunday. You know, even as late as Thursday, the weathermen were reporting residual pockets of ignorance throughout the whole city. And, you know, I don't, I think that's an overstatement. I think that's an exaggeration. You know, so it's just not right. You know, and then and then you get the socioeconomic um, statements about banjo players. I mean, they just can't leave them alone. You know, what's the difference between an extra large pizza and a banjo player? Well, an extra large pizza can feed a family of three or four. But you know, it's it, just stuff like that. So I hope you'll join with me and, and cut out this kind of talk. Um, we just don't need it in America. Thank you very much.